Today we are going to talk about spelling and we are going to have a Greek word parts. We learned before that English language is a great language because the source of the English language itself, it didn't came from English, but it came from other languages. These languages sometimes were effects of Greek language or Roman language or Latin language or other even uh, other uh, interactive uh, languages like, for example, Arabic. These words came into the English language and from these words, they have a new words in their language. So this is what we are going to learn, inshallah. Today, we are going to learn about the Greek source of the English language words. Let's have some of the Greek roots, understand their meaning, and then after that, add them to words. But if somebody would ask, Miss, okay, we have a Greek words. What's, what does that mean? Why should I know it? I will tell you why. Because Greek words are words that have source in the Greek, in Greek language. These words, they have meaning in their language. Like, for example, bio. Like, for example, tilly. Like, for example, uh, what else? Um, uni, auto. Like, unicycle. Auto. Bicycle. Uni. All of these words, they have what? They have their source in the Latin and the Greek languages. In this, in these languages, they have their own meaning. Like, for example, bio here, it means human. Life. Human oh. or life. Life or human. It has the same meaning, both meaning. Mm -hmm. Auto, it means something that works by its own. Works by its own. So, like, it's by itself. No one's control yeah. it. And uni, it means, here, it's mean, uni, it means one. By, oh. it means what? It means two. Oh. Try, it means what? It means a three. So Miss, is words, that even English? What? Is that even English? Yes, yes. Those are Greek roots. Like Greek, but we use it also. Like, for example, English. if I want to add them to a word, like bio, for example, I will add it to biography. Biography here, it's a, it's an English word. What does it mean, biography? It means what? It means the story of another person. I write a story about another person's life. Bio means life, graph it means writing. So writing the story of another person's life, like if I want to write about Muhammad Ali or about, for example, uh, Gandhi or whoever, I will call it biography. Auto, auto it means it works from its own. Like if I say uh, auto, mobile, here it means a car that works alone or it goes from one place to another. Uh, like for example, um, all of these words, it means what? Auto. Then we have uni, uni like unicorn, which means uh, one horn, an animal that head. has one horn in it. And then, for example, if I say university, it means the place that gather all the, the people to study. So university. And then we have also united, unison. All of these words mean one, one, one. Two, which is by. If I add it to another word, by here is the root. Add it to another word like lingual, it will become bilingual. Bilingual lingual means a person who uh, who speaks two languages. Like if you speak Arabic and English, you are bilingual. If you are using a bicycle that has two wheels, then I will call it bicycle, which means a vehicle that has two wheels. But if I come to try, try it means a three. If I add it to a word, try sickle. Sickle. Which means what? It means it means the bicycle that has three wheels. Tricycle. Oh, also, if I say triangle, which means what? It has three means angles. If that you have it. Yeah, three angles that you have in math. So these words right here, I call them what? I call them root. Root in the Greek the language beginning. or the Latin language because each one of them has a meaning of itself. When you add it for another word, it will give you a new meaning. And then from that, we can form new words in my English language. This is why we learn the Greek roots and the Latin roots. Babe, let's go right here and the, to open the page 364 to see the words that we have and to learn each one of them. What does it mean? Let's go. The first word we have in your book, my girls, is the word telephone. 
Now, what does it mean the word tilly right here? This is the root of the Greek language. What does it mean tilly here, miss? Tilly, it means far away. And the source of this word is a Greek. It comes from Greek. Yani, in the Greek language, when they want to say so that something is very far, they will say tilly. But I bring this word and I put it in the English language. And then I put with it another word, which is phone. Phono here, it comes from the Greek word, which means phono. Phono means what? Means sound or voice. Put them together, tilly, far, and phone, voice. It means what? Telephone. Telephone, it means the device. I use it if I want to contact a person that is far away from me and I want to hear his voice. Then it will give me the word telephone. Tilly, far, and phone, voice. So the voice that is far away, it will give you telephone. This is a word that I have it in the English language that came from the Greek root. And then I have peri. Peri, this is also a, a word in the Greek language. It means what? It means around or near. So peri, it means near. Tilly, it means far. Add it to graph. A graph, it means what? It means something is written. To write something, something is written. Also, it comes from the Greek language. So I have a graph in the Greek language, yani if they want to say that somebody uh, has written book, they will say graph. But if you want to say peri, he is near of me, I will say peri. But you put peri and graph together, it will give you what? It will give you the word paragraph. It will give you the word paragraph. So para comes from the word peri, which means near. Graph, which means writing. Paragraph, which means something that you are writing right now need of you and you are writing right now paragraph so i have telephone and i have paragraph right now you see how they come from where they come from greek but right. and then we have the next word we have is scope scope here it means what watch view examine it comes from the latin and the greek language scope and then we have micro. Micro here, it means something tiny and small. It comes from the Greek language. So uh, we have micro, which means small, and scope, which means to examine. Microscope, uh, scope, and go, put it with micro, it will give you the word. microscope, which means what? Which means a device that I use it to see the tiny things like germs, bacteria, microscope. And the scope, it means examine. Micro, it means tiny. So the device that examines the tiny things, it will give me the word microscope. Wow. You see what is the source of the words that we have? Most of the words that come in the science study, it comes from the Latin and Greek, by the way. But we have also the word geo. Like I have geography, national geographic. What does it mean geo? Geo, it means earth. It comes from the Greek language, yani in the ancient time, in the Greek language. If they want to say earth, they wouldn't say earth, they would say geo. We put this word and we put it in our, what? In our language of, uh, of English. Then we have the word like, for example, geography. 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 And the graphy here, it means a different thing from the word graph. Graph, it means writing. Graphy here, it means what? It means lands. So geography, it means what? The land of the earth. Then we have another also root. Let's go for the root thermo, like the word thermometer. Thermo, it means heat. It comes from the Greek language. So if they want to pronounce heat, they would say thermo. Now put it with another word, which is meter. Meter, it means a device that major. So put thermo meter. It will give you the device thermometer. It is the device that we use to measure what? To measure the heat of the temperature. Okay. This is for the word thermo. And then we have meter. It means major thermometer. It will give you a new word, which is the device that we are using. Bio. Bio here, it means life, as I told you. Log. It means what? speech, study of written work, word. So log here, it means something written also. Mono, it means one. It comes from the Greek language. So mono, it means one. And then we have arc, which means ruler, principle, first. It comes from the Latin and Greek. So arc, it means the first thing that comes. 
like archaeology. Archaeology, it means what? It means the study. Logi here, it means the study. Arc, it means the study of the first people who came to Earth. Krasi, it means government. That's why I use it with some words like democracy, like, for example, um, democracy and what, what else? Aristocracy, all of them, will, they will use krasi. Krasi, it means government or rule. Then we have the. The, it means God or a God. Some, uh, some of the Greek language, they use the, or some, some of them, they use the. The or the. It means for them, it means a God. Dia, it means throughout. Okay, these are some of the Greek words that you have. Let's go ahead right now and see the words that we have in our lesson. First, we have the word telephone. What does it mean, telephone? Who can remind me? Hmm? Something you can call, like... Yeah, I, something I use to hear the voice of other people. Very good. And then we have paragraph. What does it mean, paragraph? We use it in writing all the time. Yeah. It's a couple of sentences put together into a paragraph. And then we have telegraph. What does it mean, telegraph? Telegraph, it's a device that the people use it in the old times to communicate with each other. This is the telegraph. They used it before the phone. Before inventing the phone, they have to communicate by sending letters or something they can't use the the birds before having the telegraph they used to have the birds like pigeon they will put uh, a small message they put it at the leg uh, or the feet of the pigeon and they send that pigeon for another country this is how they used to send the messages or they bring a person they give him the message and they tell him go for that country and give them the message but after that they uh, they invented telegraph telegraph you can stay, for example, in Germany, and I am in Saudi Arabia, and I will send you a message by using this device. I have to have one of these, and you have one of these also. Then I will press on it, which we call it Morse code. I'll shuffle it, Morse. Morse code. Wait, how does it work? It's so weird. Morse it looks code. Like it doesn't work. You will, press, you will press on this one with your finger. For example, each, each one of the letters, it will give you one press. For example, if you want to press A, you will say one, one, uh, one knock. If you want to, uh, to put B, you will put T, uh, two dots like, like this. If you have, uh, for example, S, you will give me four, which means S. Then he will write after you. Everything that he listened to, he will put it as letters. One, two, three, letter. Uh, then after that, collect it and make a message of it. This is how they do it. This is telegraph. Telegraph came before what? Before the phone. So before the telephone, we have telegraph. It's a device that is used for communication. And then we have telecom uh, telecomet. Telecomet is what? To work at home using a computer connected to the network of one's employer. Like right now, I'm using a computer that is linked to my school, then I'm using with them telecommute. Telecommute, it means I am commu communicating with them through what? Through far away. Tele, it means far. Commute, it comes from communication. Telescope, tele, it means far away. Scope, it means to examine. So telescope here, it means what? To examine the far away stars or planets. That's why we call it tele, far, and scope, examine. It's the device that we use it to examine the stars. Then we have millimeter. Millimeter, a matrix unit of length equal to 1,000 of a meter. It's, uh, it's also uh, 1,000 meters. It will give you millimeter. It comes from the word mile. Uh, pedometer. Pedometer, it's a measuring instrument for recording the number of steps taken in walking. Pedometer. This is pedometer. So the word meter here, it measures something. And the name of the device at the beginning, it will be different. So, so like, uh, for example, pedometer, thermometer, biometer. So we have pedometer here. It counts the step. Right now, we have pedometer in our watch. You know the smart watches that we have? It has a pedometer. Like Apple Watch? Yes, this, like one, this one, all of them, all of them. They have a pedometer because it counts the steps. Okay, we have also thermometer, the one that we use it to measure the heat. 
thermometer. This is thermometer. This is the one thermometer. We use it right now with the children like this. You can measure your temperature from your uh, ears. Diameter. Diameter, the length of a straight line passing through the center of a circle and connecting two points on uh, a, circumfer a circumference. So this is what we call it, dia meter. So if you find the word meter at anything, it means there's a device that measures something. The name of this at the beginning, it will be different depending on the device itself. Dia meter, it means the device that I use to measure or the thing that I use to measure the points in a circle, inside of circle. This is, I call it diameter. Autograph, autograph, it means what? It means a person's own signature. Auto, it means you. Graph, it means written. Autograph, it means your own signature. Phonograph, phono, it means voice. A graph, it means written. So phonograph, machine in which rotating records cause a stylish vibrate and the vibration are simplified, amplified uh, or electronically. So we have phonograph, this is phonography. Phonograph, this is the phonograph. It has voice in it and at the same time you can use it in uh, in putting what it in putting uh, CDs. This is the first version, by the way, this is the first version of the uh, of the cassette device, you know, musajid. This is the first version of it. They put a CD right here, and then this CD, he will read it. That's why we call it a graph. He will read it, and then it will give you phono, which is the sound of that CD. Photograph. Photo, it means a picture. A graph, it means what? It means uh, illustrator of that photograph. Yani it's a picture. Then we have photocopy. Photocopy, it means what? A photographic copy of a written or printed graphic word. Yeah, and something is written and I want to make a photo of it as a copy. Television, television it means far. Vision, it means something I can see. Television, it means something that uh, a communication uh, system that give me the things that happens all around me and show it for me. Kilo meter, kilo, it's a meter. It's a metric unit of length equal to 1,000 meters. Centimeter is what? A metric unit of length equal to 100 uh, meter. Speed, uh, speed meter is what? A, uh, a meter fixed to a vehicle that measured and displays its speed. This one, they use it usually in races. If you have races between cars or bicycles, you will bring... Um, you will bring a car and you will put this device on it. It's called a speedometer. It will give you the major of your speed. Speedometer. This is speedometer. You will find it also in the cars. It will give you the, the major of your speed. How it's much? in the car. Yes. And you can find it also in the races. If you are going in a race and you want to measure your speed, he will put this device. Miss, you are lagging. lagging. What about now? They're lagging. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. No, no is yes. it good? Uh, yeah. Okay, barometer. Barometer, this is a device that we use it to measure the, um, the pressure of the air. For example, you are, you are in one room, but this room uh, we want to see the pressure of the air in, inside this room. Why you, we use it usually? We use it in museums, in the places that we want to put precious status or precious metal. And we don't want this metal to be under a lot of pressure of the air because the air will um, interact with the metal and then it will change it. So we need a certain amount of the air inside the room so we keep the precious thing in a good way. So we need what? We need something to measure the air, the pressure of the air. So what we are going to use? We are going to use barometer. Barometer, we use it to measure the, uh, the air itself and the pressure of the air. Uh, telephoto. Telephoto is a photograph made with telephoto lens. It's made with a special lens. 
graphic, it means what? Evoking lifelike images within the mind. Graphic. Graphic, which means something that you are drawing with your own hands. Graphic. Okay, my girls, let's go now to the page 364. Do you have any question until now? Huh? No, no, no. We have these words that came from Greek. Tilly, it means far. Uh, peri, it means near. Uh, phone, it means voice. Bio, it means life. Meter, it means major. Thermo, it means heat. You can write this with me or take a, um, a screenshot for it. Heat. Geo, it means earth. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, graph, which means something written. Auto. By itself. Miss, what about pen? What? Pen. Pen? P-E-D. Pen? Yeah. Like uh, you have it, pedo. Pedo, pedo, it means, yes, pedo, it means steps. Pedometer. Steps. Also, what else, what else, what else? Uh, milli, but milli, li, milli, meter? No, meter. Kilo. Kilo, it means 1,000 meter, but the word meter, it means major. What else? What else? Let me give you just a minute. Baru. Baru, it means air. Dia, dia. D-I-A. Dia, it means lines in their Greek language. These are the words that you have and the meaning of each one of them. You can use it and you can write it in your own picture. I have the first one. Okay, these are the words. Right now, write the list word that best fits each group. We have here a group of definition and we need the last word that completes it. Who can start with the first one, Ya? Yeah. Me. Hmm? Me, Maria. Okay, Maria. Class Franks, write the list word that best fits each group. Cir circle, radius, circumference, diameter, Diameter, excellent, because we are talking about lines inside the circle. So we will go for diameter. Let's go for number one, diameter. Number two, top binoculars. Hiya, Feiruz. Binocular. Binocular and microscope. Huh. Oh, I know this. What is the word that goes with it? Something used lenses. Um, Thermo. Huh? No. Huh. I thought... Something we use it to scope. Scope, which means to examine. And we are going to use lenses to examine. This something. ain't no jewelry. Oh, yeah. Telescope. Telescope. Excellent jewelry. Very good. Oh. Number three. Number three. Who can do number three? Jenna. Hey, Jenna. Go ahead, Jenna. Okay. Letters, words, sentences. Paragraph. Pa paragraph. Paragraph, excellent, my girl. Paragraph, very good. Number four, tape, cassette, and compact disc, uh, disc, uh, MP3 player. Something I use, uh, like CD. It's like CD-like, and will give you sound. Huh? Phono yeah, it like, but not the phonography or phonograph. Phonograph. Phonograph, excellent. Number five, air pressure, weather, instrument. What is the instrument I use to measure the air? Um, I know, I know. Yes, Feruz. Thermometer? No, no, thermometer for the heat. I don't know this thing. You can find it from your box, come on. Yeah. Hi, girls, anybody except uh, Feruz? Um, there we Wait. Um, Come on, girls, okay. wake up, all of you. Thermometer, yeah. thermometer. No, thermo for the heat. I'm asking for air pressure. Come on, Mariana. 
Oh, Miss Miss, I know. Pedro, 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 Pedro. No, Pedro is for the steps. Wait. Thermometer. No, thermometer. Millimeter, millimeter. The words. Yes, Maria. Just a minute, huh? Give the word. What? In the box. Ah, uh, you don't have the book. Miss, is it speedometer? Okay. This is the box, huh? Is a telephone, a graphic, thermometer, photograph, centimeter. Barometer. Barometer, excellent, yeah, Maria. No, barometer. Miss, it's barometer. It's barometer. barometer. I know. Excellent. excellent, Maria. Thank you so much. Girls, do you have the book in front of you or no? Do you need yeah, me to show you the book in front of you? I have it right. Yes. Mariana, I don't have the book. Do you want me to show you the whole page? Mariana? Yeah. Okay, just a second. Miss? I hope it's clear for all of you. Just a minute. It is page. Yes, Tina. Yes, Tina. I'm seeing the other one. What is Can I do number six? Miss me, me, Julie. Just a minute. Hi, Atala. Um, number six, can I do it? We are at which number right now? Number, number six. six. Okay, number go six. ahead for number six. Oh, I know. Okay. Instrument measure speed, speedometer. Speedometer, excellent. So this is barometer, and the last one is speedometer. <laughs> Oh, I know this. Oh. Please, please, no, please, no. please, Feroz. Don't shout your Feroz like this. Okay, sorry. Number six, it's not speedometer. Are you sure it's speedometer? It's a speed. Speedometer. Speed, because we have speed. Speedometer. Yeah, it said speedometer. Okay, number. Is there the other one? You Communicate wire electric. Hi, Feroz. Um, telephone. No, something to communicate. You are far away from the photo. No, television, television, television. Me, Yuri. No. television it has uh, it has pictures. Hi, Juri. Te telecom commute. No, 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 no. You are near though, huh? Tele telecom mute. Telegraph. Telephone. Telegraph. Okay, call. I know the talk. Next. Huh? Telephone. 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 Yes, yeah, Fairuz. Very good. Telephone. Camera. Pictures. Person. Television. 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 No. Camera. Oh. Camera. Ch -ch 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 pictures. Oh, a photo. Photographer. Photographer. A person who take pictures. Photo. Grapher. Or telephoto. Okay. Mile. Oh. Okay. Fathom. Oh. It's uh, centimeter. You no. are close, not centimeter. Millimeter, millimeter. Millimeter. No, miles, miles. Miles. Kilometer. Kilo Kilo kilometer. Kilometers. Excellent. Because miles have 1,000 kilometer. Okay. Now, write the list word that has the same meaning. Synonym. We need the synonym for each definition of this. One uh, hundredth of a meter. What we call it. We have one meter and then millimeter. We no, no, no. Meter, something will 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 give me one meter. What is it? Is it centimeters or millimeters? Millimeter, or millimeter. millimeter. No. One hundred millimeters will give you one centimeter. Centi centimeter. One hundred centimeters, it will give you one. I know. Meter. And then one hundred meter. One hundred meters, it will give you one kilo. And then one thousand kilo, it will give you what? It will give you one. So this is centimeter. Centimeter. I Time know. Number 12, yeah. Anybody? Huh, Tulin? Tulin? I know. Tulin, are you there? Yes. OK, go ahead. Read number 12. A person's own signature. Um. Your own signature, what I call it. Auto oh, from, from the books. Autograph. Autograph. Excellent. So we have the word autograph. Excellent job. Mariana, you are next, Mariana. Oh, I know this. Auto. 
graph. Okay, Mariano, number 13 for you. A photographer's copy of a written or printed word. Mm -hmm. A photographic copy of written or printed work. Now imagine that you have written book and you want to take copy of that. What I, what I call it from here? Photocopy. Photocopy, excellent job, mashallah, like excellent. Photocopy and you don't have even the book, which is amazing that you can follow up. Okay, number 14. Number 14, Tina. Yes, can I do it? Tina, Tina. Tina. Tina yes, hiya. Did you say my name? Yes, I said your name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For number 14. Yes. An instrument for measuring distance wa walked. Instrument for measuring temperature. The number 14. Oh, so so zero meter. Hmm. Thermometer. Thermometer, excellent job. Thermometer. Thermometer. Very good. Thermometer. Okay, let's go ahead with Jude. Jude Sharif, are you there? Miss Aino, please. Jude, are you there? Amal, are you there, Amal? Yes. Why are you sleepy today? I didn't hear your voice. Number 15. I answered. Give me number 15. Yell. Number 15. Mm -hmm. Electronic device that shows image, images on screen. Television. Television. Excellent, my girl. Very good. So it is television. Miss, can I do number 16? Haifa. Number 16 for you, Haifa. Hurry up. Tala, are you there, Tala? Yes, I'm here. Yalla, yalla. Number 16 for you. Instrument for measuring distance walker. Um, It's called pedometer. Excellent, my girl. Pedometer. Excellent. 1,000 of a meter. What I call it? Millimeter. Millimeter. Very good. And then we have to work at a location remote from one's place of employment, making use of a computer. Tilly, what I'm doing right now, Tilly, come. Tilly, Tilly commute. Tilly commute. And then we have number 19, a lens that makes distant objects appear magnified, like seeing the stars, what I call it. Telescope. 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 We use to oh, sorry, to make the distant objects appear magnified, Tilly, photo, I will call it. And then the last one, a picture design or visual picture uh, display. Um, a telescope. Graph. 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 Uh, gra graphic. Uh, graphic. Yes. <laughs> Done. Done? Great. Yes. If you finish, you can leave. The girls who finished, you okay. can leave. Because you have a the prayer right now. You finish, leave. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. See ya. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Did you finish, Tulin? Tulin, did you finish? <laughs>